We're in Vienna. Vienna is a city of culture. And one of the best ways to experience that culture is visiting one of their mini cafes. And we have a plan today to visit five of those beautiful cafes. We're talking cakes, coffee, probably some savory items mm. in there. Um, but we wanted to bring you guys along so you could see what we're talking about. This is the living room of the Viennese people and we're so excited. First stop, one of Sigmund Freud's favorites. Cafe Lantman, built in 1873. This is one of Sigmund Freud's original hangs. We've got some cake, we've got some coffee. This is melange. So good, it's like a Viennese latte. These are the stars of the show, I'm so excited. Okay, so we've got a Mozart tour, which is like a chocolate pistachio cream tour. And then the Lampman's like namesake tour, which is orange, marzipan, and chocolate. And I'm so excited to dig in. I'm gonna try them first because I'm the sweets person in the family. <laughs> I'm the savory guy. Nick's the savory guy. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was really moist. I could already tell. That's so good. I love, love, love orange and chocolate. Mm, okay. Also, today we're only eating sugar. So, super healthy. Super healthy. Mozart tour. That's really light because it's like cream based. Mm. Okay, Nick, you have to try these. They're so good. I mean, also, I got an Einspanner, which is uh, two shots of espresso and whipped cream. A lot of Viennese coffee is very milk based and cream based, as you can see. You got a little cookie um, on top, too. With a, with a little. Yeah, cream. Wafer. This thing is like overflowing with cream. It's like, how do you even drink it? <laughs> People from Vienna are laughing at me right now. It is tasty though. All right, I'm in for the tort. What a work of art. I know, it's so beautiful. I love the, uh, the like thickness of the top. And, but the fluffiness of the layers, oh my goodness. What a symphony. Like there's a lot of different things going on, but they all blend together really, really well. All right, now the Amadeus Mozart tort. It's got kind of a, a cream base. Mm. Oh, I like that. It's really good. It's got, it's kind of reminiscent of like bled cream cake, but with more of a kind of chocolate flair. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And this place is gorgeous. Stop two. Another one of Sigmund Freud's favorites, Cafe Central, built in 1876. So we're inside now and uh, we got a couple of pastries as you can see. The way you actually order those here is you go up to the case and figure out what you want and then tell your waiter. So we got the Sissy's favorite, which is a rum and apricot pastry. And then we got the, I'm gonna butcher this, Zitronentorchen, which is basically like a lemon torte. It's like a citrus torte. So here we go. 
It's uh, that's sticky. Interesting. Wow, that's uh, you can really taste the kind of the smoothness of the rum and the apricot. The nuts add just a little bit of that salty element. By the way, they call it Sissy's favorite for the former empress of Austria. Sissy was her nickname. Okay, on to this lemon that I'm destroying, annihilating. <laughs> totally sticking to my fork. That's a big old bite. That's a Nick Kennett bite right there. Mmm. Okay, this one's mine. I love lemon desserts. This does not disappoint. You could probably tell when I lifted the whole top off this thing. It's really great layer of lemon there. And the crust is just perfect. It's not getting soft or soggy or anything. It's got a great crunch to it. Mm, I love how thick the crust is. Right? It like makes me pucker. It's so lemony. That's so good. It's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Like, this is the prettiest dessert by far. Yeah. That's very boozy. Yeah. Sissy must have loved her booze. So we made it to our third stop on our tour, which is the Demel Cafe. And caveat, I could pronounce a lot of things wrong <laughs> right now. <laughs> but the first thing that we got was the Zaher Tort, which is arguably one of the most famous torts in Vienna. There's actually two places that you should get in, here and then the Zaher Hotel. In the 50s and 60s, there was actually a nine-year legal battle over which of the two cafes had the right to say they had the original Zaher Tort. Demo lost, so they can't claim that it's the original, but it is supposed to be delicious. I'm gonna try it. Mm. Good looking bite. So Zahir Tort is a chocolate tort with an apricot filling and a very like fudgy icing. That's really good. It's very rich. And they serve it with cream. Yeah, unsweetened, which helps a lot with just like how rich the cake is. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> I will caveat, Shaysher Hotel is not on our cafe tour today, but it is definitely a must stop of cafes in Vienna. We just went on our first day because we couldn't help ourselves. And we also got to say her, say her, <laughs> Zahir, Zahir. Zahir tour there. Also delicious, um, but we'll flash up so you can see pictures of that place too. If you're from Vienna, how do you pronounce this? How? I'm gonna say the Seicher tour. Oh. So our second dessert has arrived. It's called the Kaiserschmarrn. And it's basically a ripped up pancake covered in powdered sugar, often served with some kind of like fruit glaze. Um, we got to sample some of this the other day and couldn't refuse it again. It's got a nice, like, I can tell it's going to be kind of crunchy on the outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just so good. So we just left Demel Cafe. And I have to say, I was a little underwhelmed compared to what I had read online. Especially considering it was the one cafe so far today that we actually had to wait quite a bit to get into. Mm -hmm. The interior was a little underwhelming. The Zahar cake was not nearly as good as what we had mm -hmm. at the Zahar Hotel. Yeah, and I don't think that's 
off-brand messing with us. No. Like, it just it, wasn't as good. It wasn't as good. Um, it wasn't as good. Uh, we had had Kaiserschmarrn somewhere else as well, and I gotta say, it was much better. <laughs> so, maybe just a little underwhelmed. That's not to say that you shouldn't go to that cafe because it's an experience. It's definitely on the list of top ones that you should go to. Maybe we hit them on an off day. Yeah. But we're headed to our fourth cafe. We'll see you at that stop. All right, guys, stop for Cafe Havelka? Havelka? Anyways, this one's supposed to be a little bit more low-key. We're getting a little sugared out, starting to hit a little bit of a wall, but we've got two more stops, and this is one of them. <laughs> so this stop isn't necessarily about the pastries and the desserts. We did get one toffin strudel to share, which is a strudel filled with cork cheese. But really, this place is more about the ambiance and hanging out with locals, not so much eating, which is okay with us because if you are doing this tour right now, you're probably hitting a sugar wall just like we are. So hopefully this is a little less on the sweet side. It's very good. It's like the middle has that pork cheese, which is kind of like a mix between a cottage cheese, ricotta cream cheese. And it's like it's been zested with a little bit of lemon. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. This will go good with my cup of tea. I feel like this is like a pinkies up kind of place. I'd say of all the places we've been, this is the least pinkies up kind of place. Okay, pinky down place. <laughs> Yum. Okay. How am I still eating sweets, you guys? How is this still happening? We'll see you at the next stop. Schwarzenberg. So we're at Cafe Schwarzenberg, which is one of the oldest continually operating cafes on Vienna's Ringstrasse. And the thing to get here is hot chocolate, which is great because it's kind of rainy outside now, it's getting colder, and uh, we're excited to try it. good the the chocolate really nice dark chocolate it's not too sweet obviously there's cream some vanilla I think a little bit of cinnamon even really really yummy really yummy fitting uh, fitting way to end our little tour the cinnamon is like a great touch that's some of the best hot chocolate I've ever had and I love how cold the whipped cream is and how hot the chocolate is. I love that. Um, that's heartwarming. <laughs> Good job putting this cafe tour together, babe. Yeah. <laughs> We are back at the place, and after three and a half pieces of cake, four shots of espresso, and a cup of hot chocolate, uh, I am flying through space right now, so I have no idea how we got here. But it was a great food tour. Oh, yeah. I've got two questions. Okay. Favorite cafe, favorite fight. Okay. Um, favorite cafe... Even though it wasn't necessarily the most iconic Vienna, at least as far as what I can tell. I liked the fourth one, uh, Cafe Havelka, Havelka, uh, however you say it. I just feel like if I lived here, that's a place I would actually go. Favorite bite, I loved that lemon tort we had at Cafe Central. Mm -hmm. How about you? That one's good. Cafe Central is my favorite. It's so beautiful. Their cakes are so pretty to look at. Um, but my favorite bite was actually at Cafe Lampman, our first stop, mm. and it was their Lampman tort, which was the orange chocolate. Oh, that was good. <gasps> so good. That was great. Well, I loved the food tour. Hope you guys did too. We have 
other great food tours like this that Allie has put together from different cities we've been to on this trip. We're on a six month sabbatical through Europe and Asia. And if you wanna follow along, uh, hit subscribe, like this video, and ring that little bell to be notified. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.